Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video, we'll be learning how we can use ChatGPT for Excel. I asked the very same question from ChatGPT to take a response to see how well does it know about Excel usage. So here I have seven different examples of how ChatGPT can help us in functionalities and writing down the VBA script, which we can use for macro functioning. The very first thing it says that the Excel formula assistance uh, in which the chat GPT can explain Excel formulas and their syntax and how they can be used correctly to avoid the debug errors in the formulas. The next one is about VBA code generation in which you can create VBA scripts which can automate the tasks in Excel. The third thing is using Excel feature explanation in which detailed explanations of different Excel features, which includes pivot tables, conditional formatting, data validation, and more can happen. So ChatGPT, more or less, if you could say, it acts as a teacher, which helps you understand the scripts and the formulas happening in Excel, being used in Excel, actually. And the fourth thing is about the best practices. It can provide advice and best practices for data organization, data analysis, and common Excel tasks. Uh, now, main thing that we're going to focus in this lesson is basically another prompt I gave it, which is I asked it to list me down all the macros that the chat GPT can create using the VBA codes, and how can you just apply it, simply copy-paste it into your Excel file to run it. So right here as an example, I have the first one which says, sorting data in a range. This macro sorts data in column A in ascending order. So this is something that is really helpful. We can use it. The other is about hiding a worksheet and the third is unhiding the worksheet. Now, these are the formulas which might seem pretty simple to us, apparently, but most of the times when you have to do some task, you know that this is the thing that I want Excel to do, or I want this thing to happen. But you just can't get the formula or you just can't get the VBA script right because of some debug error coming and the whole effort is lost. So ChatGPT is the quick, accessible, and really powerful tool to help us generate small little common Excel formulas which can be error-free, yet at the same time efficiently made. So we're going to go with the second and the third one first in which it asks us to hide or unhide a certain worksheet. Now we're going to create a macro for it. So this VBA formula we have is basically for sheet two. What we'll do is we'll go to Excel, it's sheet one. Let's say in sheet one, I type something like, I want pizza. I wrote it round right here, this is sheet one. I created another sheet from here in which I wrote, like, I write letters. Just giving you an example to see how the sheet two can be hidden or unhidden. So if you talk about hiding, first of all, so we're going to go on, copy this formula. We're going to come back to the sheet. So we're going to press Alt F11. Always remember, Alt F11 helps us to open up the Visual Basics for application where you can insert a module. So here I had the module already inserted. So we're going to press Alt F11. It's going to appear like this. You'll have to go to Insert, add a module, and press Control V to paste that code we copied from ChatGPT. This is precisely for hiding the worksheets. You can click on Control S, which is for saving. Close the VBA dialog box, and now you can press Alt F8. Pressing Alt F8 opens up this prompt in which there is a certain macro given the name of hide worksheets. You run it, and there you go. The sheet literally disappeared. 
So now we're going to unhide the same worksheet, click on the code, copy it, come back to the sheet, and now we're going to press Alt F11 to open up the Visual Basic for Application again, insert a module, press on Control V, press Control S to save it. This is for unhiding the worksheet. And there you go, press Alt F8, you're going to have two macros. So we want sheet two unhidden. You run it and there you go, the sheet two is back. So this is how you can use chat GPT in the simplest and the most easiest formulas in Excel. But at the same time, it can be really, really accurate. It can be error free. You do not need to spend hours proofreading your self-created macro VBA code in order to fix some debug error. So chat GPT for its performance and efficiency is well known. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is creating a new worksheet. Now, this can be pretty simpler. You can simply click on this plus sign to create a new sheet, or you can create a macro if you want, as you wish. I would like to talk something precisely about the sixth and the seventh point, which are, to my interest, the most important ones. Right over here, we have protecting and unprotecting worksheets. What do you mean by protecting a worksheet? Most of the times when we're working together on a single worksheet or on a single Excel file and adding in data, things can go wrong in terms of formulas. So let's say if we have a certain sheet in which there are different formulas added for different cells, if someone who is untrained with Excel or isn't much familiar uses that, he may infiddle with the formulas and disturb it. As a result, the disturbance caused will eventually lead to the destruction of the whole file. So protecting basically helps protect the formulas, helps protect the worksheet from getting those changes in the formulas. So it says that this macro protects sheet one with a password. So let's say I copy paste this and I want that sheet one should not get disturbed in any manner. And now we're going to press Alt F11, open up an order module, insert it, press on Control V to paste and press Control S to save. Next time, I'm going to simply go here, press Alt F8 and go to protect worksheet and run. Now what's happening basically is that this worksheet is protected, see? Every time you click on any cell, this will give you a prompt which says that the cell or the chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make changes, unprotect. So for unprotection, you can simply right click, go to unprotect, and you can create a password over here, all right? So obviously you need to have a password for protecting first. So the password for protecting, which was right there written here, which you can modify anytime, is password. So if this is for password, we're going to create another macro for unprotecting. So we go right here and now we're going to press Alt F11, insert another module for the unprotection and save it. Once saved, remember that the password is password. Once you're done, press Alt F8 to run the unprotected worksheet macro. Once you run it, the sheet is unprotected. One way to do it is press Alt F8. The other way is to simply right click on the sheet, click on protect, and it asks for the password, and which is password indeed, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And it says to re-enter the password for confirmation. So you add it, click OK. Next time you add, the error comes again. In case you want to unprotect, go back and type in the password for unprotection, which you've created. But remember to create those passwords which are easy to remember, safe to keep. Otherwise, you can face a lot of inconvenience. So now the file is unprotected. The other thing that we're going to look at in this video is specifically 
with respect to um, changing colors. Now, what is changing colors? This macro changes the background of colors in cell A1 and sheet 1 to red. So when you run this macro, that certain range of cells is going to turn red. That is basically what it's all coded for. So once you click on copied, you go back right here, Alt F11 once again, insert another module, save it, go back and let's just run it. Change cell color. So A1 has changed the color. Now the interesting thing is that the range was not given. It was one certain cell. So if you modify this macro at the VBA code script level and add a range to it, that is something different. It's going to change the whole functionality of this macro. So let's say if I go to Alt F11, I click on the latest module I had, module six, which was for changing colors, and I add a colon, and I write C71, let's say, and I save it. So next time when I run the very same thing, you see, all those cells which were selected are colored. So this is how you can go on, modify the codes as well, according to your need, but it's just adding a few details away. Rest of that, the formula is perfectly all right. So that was pretty much about how we can use small little uh, VBA scripts in order to create macros. So that was pretty much it for the basic VBA codes. See you in the next lesson. Thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.